Hello everyone, welcome to another Python tutorial series, and in this video I'm going to talk about how to create a fancy looking clock in Python with the Arsena engine, and I hope you like it. So first of all, let's import our modules and create a window. So from Arsena import star, from date time, import date time, we're going to be using this to keep track of the time, and we also want to import the math module. And to set up a window, we can just write app is equal to Arsena and then app app run. So daytime is a module that we're going to be using to get the time for our clock. So now that we've set up our basic window to add in a background, I'm going to create a wall entity. I'll set the model equal to a quad and set the scale equal to 15 on the x, 10 on the y. Also the texture equal to an assets or an image in my assets folder. So if I save and run this, now I have my window with a wall background. So now let's start to make the clock. First of all, we'll create a uh, dial plate. So I have a clock entity, set the model equal to a quad, or not a uh, quad instead of a circle, since the clock is going to be in a circular shape. And I'll set the color equal to black, so color.black and scale equal to 5. So if I run this now, now I have a black circle in the center of the window, which is going to represent our clock. So now we can mark the plate for time. So the plate will be marked with 60 dots around the edge, each representing one minute. The dots are going to have three different sizes for different positions. So for 0, 3, 6, and 9 o'clock, uh, even marks, we're going to use large dots. For 5, 10, 15, and 55, all the way to 55 minute marks, we're going to be using medium sized dots, and for the rest, we're going to be using small dots. To draw dots, we need to know their positions, and the positions depend on the angle of the dots, which are in the range of 0 to 360 degrees. So once we know the angle of the dot, we can calculate its x and y position, and so this is just a geometry problem. So first of all, we can define a function for the uh, drawing, and I'll create that right here. I'll define it as draw dots with the degree angle. And so I'll take in the degree as the only parameter. I'll have the x equal to 2.3 times math dot cosine 90 times math dot pi over 180 minus the degree times math dot math dot pi over 180. I'll have the y equal to 2.3 times math dot sine 90 times math dot pi over 180 minus the degree times math dot pi over 180. And I'll also set the scale equal to 0 0.05. And so this is the default scale for small dots. And I want to check if the degree mod 30 is equal to zero, uh, then I'm going to set the scale equal to 0.15. And this is, this is the medium scale for the 5, 10, 15 minute marks. I also want to check if the degree uh, mod 90 is equal to zero, then I'll set the scale equal to 0.3. And so this is the large scale for the zero, three, six, and nine o'clock marks. And lastly, so 0.3. Lastly, I want to return the scale, x, and y values. Now we can call the function to draw the dots. So I'm going to be using a for loop. So for the degree in a range 0, 360, 6, which is going to be the angle interval between two consecutive dots, I'm going to set the or I'm going to set scale equal scale, scale x and y equal to the returned values from the draw dots function. And I'm going to pass in the degree as the parameter. Now we can create an entity with the model being equal to circle. Uh, set so scale equal to scale, and the position equal to the x y position, and z equal to negative 0.1. So now if I save and run this. This should be 2.3, so if I save and run this again, 
now we have our dots around the uh, circle. And so now what we could do, now that we've drawn our dots, is we can make the hour, minute, and second hands for the clock. So let's create the digital clock first. We can later use it to see if the clock works properly. So we'll need to do this in the update function. But first of all, close this. Let's create a empty text variable. So underneath our clock variable, I have text equal to text and it'll be empty, so initially it will be an empty string. And now we can create an update function. So define an update with the global text. And now to get our to get the current time, uh, I'll have a variable t is equal to date time dot now. And so the hour, minute, second will be equal to t dot hour, t dot minute and t dot second. Now to create the digital clock, so digital clock, I'm going to set text dot y equal to one. The text will be equal to text. I use an f string uh, for the hour dot z fill two like this. String minute at Z fill two and string second dot Z fill two. Now we can set the position position equal to zero. 0.4 the origin equal to 0, 0 the scale equal to 2 and the background equal to true so there should be parentheses here and so if I save and run this now I have my timer, my digital timer up at the top uh, showing the current time so here the Z field 2 function is to show the numbers in two digits when they're a uh, single digit. For example, instead of showing the time in the format of 10, 5, 8, we want the time to be shown in the format of 10, 0, 5, 0, 8. So now we can create the three clock hands, and we'll create them one by one. First, we'll create the second hand, and it has the longest length uh, and the thinnest width. So I'll go down here and create uh, the second hand radius, which is equal to 2.4, and this will be an entity, the model being equal to a quad, I set the scale equal to 0 0.03 SD radius, so the color equal to color dot lime, I set the y equal to SD radius, over 2, so the z equal to negative point one and set the origin equal to zero zero so I can run this and now I have my second hand right there so now we can move it in the update function if I go to the update function and go down this would be the second hand and I'll set or second multiplied you go to 6, and so it will rotate 6 degrees per second, and the angle will be the second times math dot pi over 180. Uh, SD dot x will be equal to SD radius over 2 times math dot cosine 90 times math dot pi over 180 minus the angle and sd dot y is equal to sd radius over 2 times math dot sine 90 times math dot pi over 180 minus the angle and sd dot 
the rotation z will be equal to second. So if I run this, we should see that the second hand movement matches the digital clock. So now we can do the same uh, to create the hour and minute hands. I'll go down. Uh, and I'll copy and paste this for the second hand and paste it for the minute hand and for the hour hand. So this would be uh, the hour radius. And so the hour radius is going to be 1.8. And the hour is equal to an entity. I'll set the scale of the hour to 0.1. This is going to be HR radius. Instead of lime, we're going to set this equal to gold. And this is still going to be HR radius. Now for our minute radius. The minute radius is going to be 2.1. MN is equal to an entity. I set the scale to 0.05. This is the minute radius. And the color, I'll set the color equal to color dot pink. I'll change it back to MN radius. And now, what we could do is move it in the update function, just like before. So instead of writing all this out, I'm going to copy and paste this for the hour hand and also for the minute hand. So this is going to be hour. Uh, multiply equal to by 30, so 30 degrees per hour. The angle is going to be hour times math dot pi over 180. HR dot x is going to be equal to the hour radius over 2. The hour dot y is the hour radius over 2. And now the hour rotation around the z is equal to hour. And we can also do this for minute. So minute multiply equal to 6. So 6 degrees per minute. Angle is equal to minute times math dot pi over 180. mn.x is equal to Minute radius over 2. And the minute dot y is equal to minute radius over 2. And the minute rotation around the z axis is equal to the minute. So now if I save and run this, now this is uh, basically our, our final nice looking clock that works. Finally, I want to add my logo to make it uh, my brand clock. So to add in a logo, what I can do is add in some text. So text, text is equal to MK. So the position equal to 0 0.15 on the X and Y axis. So the origin equal to 0, 0. So the scale equal to 2, and set the color equal to red. So if I run this, now in the center, I have the uh, kind of like the logo. And so now it's like a brand clock. So this is the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, please help me reach 1,000 subscribers before my next video. Thank you, for Thank you for your support, and I'll see you guys next time.